99.9% HIV protection, why India is not jumping yet? Imagine this, one injection, two times a year and you are 99.9% .9 protected from HIV. Sounds like science fiction? No, this is science fact now. The US FDA has just approved Lena Capaware, the shiny new injectable drug in the HIV prevention world. It promises what most of us crave, near total safety before the risk even happens. But hold on. While the global health community is busy popping champagne, in India, activists are raising eyebrows. And honestly, they have a point. Why? Because this wonder drug, my friend, comes with a price tag heavier than student loan, about 24 lakh for two doses. That's 2 lakh per needle per month. Affordable? only if your bank balance starts with multiple zeros before the decimal. Cut to reality, India's National AIDS Control Organization, NACO, doesn't even officially provide any PREP forget Lena Capaware. That's right, no pills, no shots, but condoms plenty and antiretroviral therapies sure if you already test positive but for prevention it's like locking the door after the thieves already inside health activist ganesh acharya hit the nail on the head condoms to break transmission check arv to prevent parent to child hiv check prep for youngsters must be at risk never even on the menu PREP or pre-exposure prophylaxis is a medicine taken by HIV negative people to prevent HIV. It works by stopping the virus from infecting the body if you are exposed to it. Data check. In Mumbai alone, 75% of newly diagnosed HIV patients last year were from 15 to 49 age group young, active living their lives. But when we talk about PREP, private sectors only. Translation, if you are poor, tough luck. System check. A government committee was set up. A white paper was drafted. Guidelines were discussed. And then, nothing dusty files and forgotten promises. Meanwhile, globally PRP's been around for over a decade, but in India, we are still deciding whether the water is warm enough to dip our toes in. Dr. Ishwa Gladia said, and I quote, distribute PREP, stop the spread. What's so hard to understand here? He has got a point, especially with India's HIV positive numbers climbing from 2.2 million to 2.5 million in recent years. Mumbai's STIs skyrocketing, gonorrhea, clamdia, diseases that disappeared 25 years ago are back like bad fashion trends. Pricing drama Because everything in India comes down to PESA. Solution? Three-tire pricing. Rich folks pay full, middle class gets subsidies, poor, free. Makes sense, right? Apparently, not for policy makers. Because mental health concerns. Yes, apparently, they are worried that people might freak out if they self-test positive with home kits. Never mind that we already have DIY test kits for pregnancy, COVID and diabetes. What about risky behavior fears? Let's get real. People don't stop having sex because of policies. They just stop having safe sex if they can't afford protection. For now, India waits for lower prices, for approvals, for common sense to kick in. Bala from Bombay Gay summed it up. Lena Kapavir is a monumental milestone, but right now, it's a party that only the rich got invited to. But there's hope. Dr. Gladia's betting on Indian Pharma stepping in, slashing that $28,000 price tag to under $100 per year dollar. If we can make the cheapest COVID vaccine in the world, we can do this too. 
Until then, India's activists will keep making noise and honestly, good, someone has to. This was your health wake-up call, powered by the health site. Stay sharp, stay curious and remember, good health isn't a luxury, it's a right. If you like this video, share it with all your friends and family and let them know how much you care about them.